from the News 3 studios. This is Local Living. Welcome to Local Living. I'm your host, Nicole Reynolds, and joining me now is the owner of Rivlin Group, Alex Rivlin. Thank you for being back with us. Thanks for having me back. All right, so I heard there's over 16,000 realtors in town, and that seems like a lot, you being one of them. So how can someone know that they're choosing the right realtor? Well, there are a lot and there are a lot of great agents and then, you know, just like in any other industry, there's some that maybe aren't quite as experienced. So when it comes to that, it's really about checking their their background. What have they done? What references do they have? And what are they going to deliver to you? What are their promises? If you're a seller or if you're a buyer, what are they actually saying they're going to do as part of their job? So when you do the research on these realtors, is there like a database that you can use? Like how do we find their reviews or past sales, maybe references? Is that all somewhere that one one stop shop to find it? So there's there's a couple great resources for that. So Zillow happens to be one of them. Uh, when you go to Zillow, you can typically look at their past sales and it'll show their sales typically over the last two years. So you can see not only how many they sold, but what the value was. So if you've got a luxury home or let's say a high rise condo or a you know smaller starter condo in a particular area, is it the right agent for that particular type of property? All right, so say I have found an agent based off of what I've seen on Zillow um, and it's time for me to kind of meet them in person. What are some questions that I should ask them? So the, the things that I believe that they should ask are how many sellers or buyers have they actually helped and could they get references for those people? Are they willing to talk to those people? The second is how much money they've either saved or made for their seller. So what that comes down to is list price versus what the actual property sold at. And there's actually a way to see in the multiple listing service what the amount is across the entire multiple listing service versus just yours. So for instance, if it's 97 cents on the dollar and you're selling at 99 cents on the dollar, you know you made your seller that much more money. Mm -hmm. And as for buyers, if it's lower than that, you know you've saved your buyer that much money. And then the third element is communication. What are their standards for communication? I've heard of agents listing a home and the seller doesn't hear from them for weeks and weeks, whereas other agents will do at least, at, at a minimum, a weekly update of how many people they've actually shown the home to, what the feedback on the home was, what changes might be needed to get that home sold if it's not selling under its current state. All right, so if any of our viewers are sitting there and thinking, hey, I wanna use that guy, how can they get in contact with you to uh, ask maybe some of these questions that you've now blessed them with? Sure, well, they could email me at alex at the .com, or you have my phone number below. All right, Alex, thank you so much for joining me today. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you. And thank you everyone at home for watching Local Living. We'll see you next time.